Uh, here we'll look at Cole's first blocking lesson. Um, so the idea is to pick out a few things that uh, we can look to improve on in the upcoming lessons and to uh, see some of the good things that he's done too. Now that was before any instruction and uh, here we'll go back and look at the best two blocks and the worst two blocks so um, we'll look at the block on the left his knees uh, get down where his feet were the block on the right he actually gains a little ground moving forward so the ball on the right is actually going to travel out further from him than the ball on the left so uh, we'll slow it down and look at it one more time so you can process all that information and uh, and we'll look at that again right right here so again, if you watch him on the left, his knees actually replace his feet. So he's behind home plate further than he is on the one on the right. You can look at his left knee on the, on the frame on the right, see how close he is to home plate. When he meets the ball with energy moving towards the ball, the ball is going to push away further. So um, that's why we clear the feet and get the knees down to absorb the ball. All in all, very two, uh, two very good blocks. So here's the worst two, and the reason I picked the worst two because I feel like these are going to be uh, consistent problems. The first one's going to go to the left. And first of all, he's way too late, gloves too high, heads up, bodies up, everything's up high. So uh, later on in, in the video, you'll see that his eyes are actually closed when he's doing that too. Uh, the second block, this one would be going uh, ball a little bit to his right. You notice he's late again. The ball hits him not center on the on the chest. The ball shoots off to the right. I noticed this happening quite a bit. So um, we're trying to overcome a couple of those two things. In the end, you'll see vast improvement on those. So just a quick video on the drills of dry blocking the V. All right, well, here's a few areas to consider for improvement, and we will focus on these in the upcoming lessons. First one's hopping to the ball. Next one's maintaining good posture. You see how he falls forward there. Better. Now stop. Stay right there. Does this feel better? Or does this raise that butt up? Does that feel better? Yeah. This right here feels like you got more coverage, right? So sink the butt down again. Lean forward. This is where we were. Now raise up to the right posture again. Butt up. That's where we want to be, okay? So let's go again. Again, he'll be too late in this clip. This is the one we saw in the beginning. Notice his eyes are closed. We'll zoom in on that in just a little bit. The eyes are not tracking and they're closed. Towards the end of the lesson, here was four consecutive blocks. You can see a large improvement. So those were all good there. Now we'll look at a little throw, and he wanted to touch on this before the tournament this weekend. So first thing is the right foot's going to come forward. This is called a jab step. It's entirely too long. It's about twice the length of what it should be. You notice he'll pop straight up too, and the ball is actually towards the ground. We talked about this a little bit 
and that the ball can't fall down that's a looping pattern or the reverse C that you see on the website that we want to avoid you'll see it again too from uh, the rear angle again this is information is kind of quick but he pops straight up and we'll freeze frame it right there so you can see he pops straight up instead of gaining ground low the next freeze frame would be uh, the ball down towards the ground the ball will be at shoulder height now you'll look at the glove side it's real weak needs to be tucked in a little more to the body and now lastly you'll see that he falls off to the left side so therefore throws you will probably find her erratic uh, rather than consistently in one direction so the overall assessment is uh, is pretty simple there's a few areas in blocking that need to be improved on that was uh, hopping was something that was pretty consistent uh, the next thing was uh, was getting there too late uh, overall I think that Coles uh, did a lot of homework on his own which sped up our uh, lesson drastically so um, he's putting in the work and the time it seems on, on learning the terminology and um, we'll get to throw in a little bit next week or the week after uh, but all in all I think it was a very good lesson and you should be able to see some drastic improvement on the blocking if he takes to the game what he learned today. Thank you.